yeah, tomorrow, man, when we do the Breakfast Club thing, make sure y'all run it up. Uh, no, nah, Charlemagne was a class act, man. He was a good brother while we was on the show. Um, no drama, no nothing like that, to be honest. You understand me? I did the show with uh, Rashad and Troy at EYL. You understand me? You know this partnership of ours, man, is powerful because, you know, <clears throat> built the platform myself off my integrity, my moves, my actions, my experience. So to be able to choose them to partnership with, and y'all know, you know, I ain't heavy on doing partnerships with nobody, especially after the last one I came out of. So that just means that I trust these brothers and they got some good integrity, you understand me? And, and I thoroughly vetted them, you understand me? And then we found connections to where, you know, consequently I able to get on a breakfast club. And at the end of the day, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I liked the interview. It was powerful. You understand me? There's going to be some knowledge, some narrative changing. I need, to, I need to just go in there by myself because y'all know big keys at the end of the day. I need to... to, to had a brand separated where I want to go in there and have a conversation with the world that's so dangerous and so disruptive and so unapologetic. By the time I'm done having this conversation, it's over with. You understand me? Like, we changed the world in that moment. I'm going to bring in uh, Luxotica Retreats, though, in a second, though. But I got some game for y'all, man. I promise you I got something that ain't got no world. And to be honest, I decided that even that interview part gonna be my that's gonna that's 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 probably gonna be most tamed in like my old self. Hello, What's going blessings on with you, good King. Sister? How blessings. are you? I am feeling blessed, feeling amazing. I see those beautiful angel numbers. It pinned three 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 has been my life number, so it's already divine sign yeah, yeah. <laughs> of good things to come. So great to be on the live with you. Likewise, likewise. So let's let, let's tell the people why we here today and we got them here this evening. Um, if some of you all have already known that we're planning a trip, right, going to Egypt on the 19th of April. You understand? And so it's going to be a dope trip because it'll be my first time going to Egypt. And at the same time, you all can come along with me and the other guests that will be there. And not only that, it's going to be an educational component. You understand me? I believe we're going to the Luxor. We're hitting the now. we touching the pyramids. You understand me? We're getting really tapped in to some of that energy, some of that uh, esoteric wisdom at the same time, and just taking a trip around that comedic science, you know, where we come from, where they knocked our nose off, trying to hide the fact that it was us up there the whole time. Exactly, <laughs> well, exactly. Well, thanks for that incredible intro. Um, and again, my name is Leticia Ricks, uh, CEO and founder of Luxotic Retreats. Um, and yes, we are very excited about our uh, Egypt retreat. Um, for those that follow us, have seen our incredible Dubai retreat. Uh, last year, we went to Zanzibar, Tanzania uh, during Juneteenth, um, which was an epic experience. We had um, good friend, good brother, Wall Street Chopper there. A ton of incredible people in Dubai, Keanu Watson, and we're we're super excited to have you, Kezi Williams, and a, a ton of incredible speakers on this retreat to Egypt. So it's seven days, six nights. Um, yes, we're going to Cairo first. We're staying right on the Nile at the beautiful Four Seasons. And then um, we're traveling up north. We're going to the Mediterranean. Um, we're going to uh, Alexandria, Egypt. Um, fun fact about Alexandria, they, they had the first oldest uh, library in history so uh, that's where Amazon got the name Alexa from which is incredible <laughs> um, but um, we'll be traveling there that's yeah. we'll have our conference where we are absorb all of the information it's not by mistake that we're having a conference there because um, so much information was given in Egypt um, in the in that city of Alexandria and then after that, we're taking a trip to Luxor to uh, navigate the Valley of the Kings, um, as well as all of the ancient temples. So you'll have an opportunity to, to really absorb, be able to meet and connect with um, incredible professionals, entrepreneurs, and of course, um, great speakers such as uh, 19 Keys. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's it's, it's really going to be a once in a lifetime trip um, in a sense that, you know, 
Um, I don't make myself that available for everybody to just travel with me. <laughs> but at the end of the day, man, uh, Trap told me it was wonderful when he did it. You understand me? And I got some amazing feedback. Uh -huh. I actually just got off the phone with him. Um, anybody that actually wants that experience of traveling with me, uh, specifically for those who follow me that tap in um, and want to go tap into that energy over there in Africa, um please lock in this is going to be an amazing trip like i said it's going to be my first time um no it, it, it ain't no vaccines to get over there um, so i know people be worried about that you understand me you know i ain't take no jab of walkie so i know how to travel um so at the end of the day what i'm excited about because you know at one point in time like really going to the pyramids was like like a vision like really wow. a, a dream of mine you understand and like, because it was like, I believe that like when I get there, like Absolutely. my DNA just activate, right? Don't get me wrong. I've, I've been to Africa and my, I've activated that DNA. Like you really, you really go through hemisphere <laughs> so changes accurate. within the brain. Yeah. And like, mm -hmm. you don't come back the same person. You enhance, you go, you go through DNA upgrades. And it's powerful out there because they got certain parts when I was being told that you know, they don't even want you to meditate in certain parts of the pyramids. You understand? Mm. Because they know you're going to tap into that grid. So if you go in there with already having a spirit where it's already meditative, Crazy. they can't stop it in the first place. You can get get your downloads, get yep. your upgrades just by walking through. You know? But you just got to have your, your being open to be able to receive, you understand me, as you're there. So even before you come, I would just say, you mm. know, do a little cleanse. You understand yeah. me? body right don't have blockages when you come so you can absorb them downloads like it's gonna be a, a once in a lifetime higher consciousness high level trip like listen man you travel with Absolutely. big keys it's gonna be a different Absolutely. kind of energy I'm just like, and it's so great that you brought up a cleanse um uh, our core team we did a cleanse before we went to dubai exactly 40 days so tomorrow marks 40 days before we head to um to egypt so um setting our intentions on it being an incredible experience the vibrations just the connections of people um i always say when um when we get all the people that are together like you know our 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 destiny our existence is already set so when when we arrive together it's like we're all meant to be in that same space at that same exact time. And it's just so powerful when you've got all of these people in this room together, um, in this space, traveling. And there's so many relationships that were just organically built um, from the experiences that we've had. Like, I'm, I'm blessed to see it all just manifest um, itself over the past few months and over the past year. So I'm very excited about what Egypt's going to do. It's always a different vibe, but it's always good because of that, because of the fact that of us setting our intentions, cleansing ourselves um, to the highest powers that we serve um, in the different ways that we do. Um, but it's always, you know, just that that good vibe because we do that so intentionally. Yeah, man, Egypt is such a mysterious, powerful grid, man. Uh, the, the most powerful thing about, you know, uh, ancient Kimmy, yep. you understand me, land of the blacks. You understand? Um, and then, you know, later known to be called e Egypt, when go. it kind of got gentrified, if you will, um, is that they were a civilization mm. who knew how to work together, right? It wasn't that there wasn't mass amount of intelligence on the planet Earth and intellect. It was just yes. that they knew how to work together in a sense of and to accomplish great feats that other civilizations before them had not had that same level of organizational capacity for, right? And really probably one of the more powerful things about it. And then it's like, even now when we look at back on it, like, you know, Pharaoh is not just like a person who right. ruled. A Pharaoh is like a body, you understand me? And like a temple itself, right? So there were many sites that were known as Pharaohs and your body mm. is a Pharaoh and the temple itself. But one of my, one of my favorite, uh, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people, you know, is Akhenaten, the father of Tutankhamun. You understand me? And I resonate mm -hmm. because it's such a powerful story. You know, Tutankhamun, 19 keys, he was a 19-year-old ruler. And he went against his father's wishes, right? Like, Akhenaten was the one who brought everybody together under this one God idea 
And Tutan Comet never showed any presence that he was going to defy his father until he took power. You understand me? And then once he did, of course, you know, he, he met an untimely demise. But once you study ancient Egypt and you study ancient Kemet, you find lessons in it. You understand? You find life lessons, you find cultural lessons, and you find things that either are a warning or an inspiration for another civilization right. if they want to build in those footsteps. You understand me? And so I believe that each and every person on the planet Earth needs to visit because, you know, it's one of the great mysteries of the world that we have some of the biggest monuments in the world, but it also represents that, you know, ancient people uh, um, were more advanced in certain areas than modern man and modern man considered mm, themselves to be the powerful. most advanced. Yep. I feel like Egypt is a symbol of humility for the world. You understand me? Because nobody can confidently say they know exactly what happened there and how they did it. Right? And so a lot of us kind of want to disregard the constructions and the constructs of our ancestors, yet we can't say that we've created something even better than them and we're more advanced because we understood everything that they mm -hmm. did and they had a primitive mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. and we have a mm -hmm. powerful way. Go back there for that point of like, Absolutely. once you go study first, so you can observe from a different lens, not just from a tourist lens, yes. but like an observer's lens. Because when I go, you know, where my book at? I, I got my ancient art Egypt book. I love that, yes. Here. And we, we recommend yeah. research. We provide you guys with a ton of information too, so that you are well prepared. But it kind of kickstarts your, you know, interest in learning about Egypt by the amount of information that we, we give you from the start because we, we want you to be more than just tourists. There you go. <laughs> Look at them Negroes. Yeah, Look, man, you got, yes. the, you got the jerk too much melanin. <laughs> you got to go back and see your cousins percent. and what they were doing back percent. in the day. Now nah, it's going to be a beautiful trip, man. I'm going to also prepare a beautiful lecture to be able to teach the people as well. So the downloads that you're going to get, uh, I, I probably won't even share that same messaging in the same sure. capacity live anywhere else. Oh, so we appreciate that. For the people. So you guys better tap in. Tap Trust. in ASAP. Rooms are selling out. This is like prime time, prime week where our rooms sell out the fastest. Um, so you'll want to book. Um, and all of our pricing is in. If you go to Luxotic, our page, um, it's right in the second page. And um, yeah, we're, we're super happy to have you. Super excited for your VIP session with, with our key groups on Sunday. Um, so we have our VIP session. We're very excited to have you as our featured guest this Sunday. I'm excited to be there. Listen, tap Let's in. Go. Be on the trip. You understand? Oh, uh, you know, money of dead notes. They meant to exchange for things of greater value. So it's going to be a greater value than anything else that I believe in That's April that. you can spend <laughs> your money on. Something you would like. That's a fact. Well, yes, thank you again for having us. We are very excited to have you. Um, uh, we'll definitely continue to stay in touch. Um, the dates, I see a couple of comments. April 19th to the 25th, vaccinations are not required. It does require a PCR test uh, 72 hours before, and then we arrange for you to have a PCR test to return back 24 hours within that time. Um, everything's included in the price, so you don't have to think about anything. All of your excursions, your meals, meet and greet with everyone, transportation, upgrades, all of it. And you can always tap in with us if you have any more questions. Yes, right, thank now, you. Have a wonderful you. night. Talk to you guys. All right, bye. Absolutely. You as well. So listen, all follow the good sister down there at Luxotic retreats make sure you follow her screenshot that if you need and go check it out a little later you do not want to miss out on this trip you understand me like i promise you the next one won't even be it's not even it might not even be possible anymore you understand me i'm just moving on a different energy right now like what i'm tapped into is just a different frequency so 
you know, at the end of the day, the Breakfast Club interview will be powerful. Make sure y'all go in there, like it, share it, send uh, a comment. You understand me? Go crazy tomorrow. Um, you know, it's been a long time coming with these things, trying to get on these platforms. You know, um, at the end of the day, like I said earlier, you know, um, I have a voice. I have a mind. I have thoughts. You understand me? Like, behind, like, for one, if anybody's going to go on the trip, press one. Only people that's really serious. And I'm going to put out some more stuff, and I'm going to text it to my group a little later on how to get through and how you can go. And let me bring in Bashir. I think he's ready to tap in. This is his birthday today. Got to lock him in. But um, it's going to be April 19th. We're going to go for seven days. And oh, see right. Right. Yes. Yeah, we're to yeah. Y'all go live. Y'all can hear the war What's going on? What's going on, kids? What's going on, Keys? Mr. Breakfast on? Club. I know, right? Was he at the Breakfast Club? No, no. Oh, yeah, then. Uh, you didn't tell nobody. Say it again. I said it was good uh, energy on the Breakfast Club. Dang. Anytime, 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 anytime Keys are there, it's going to be some good energy. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I really, you know, I can't wait to do a part two to be yeah, able to comment that with you right now. I got, oh, what is it going to air? I got to get some coaching. Got him in the dickhead. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. Yeah, but you got to knock it out. You know what I'm saying? You got to You got to You got to head it. You ain't about not getting on the platform because what you asked for, okay? You know what I'm saying? Oh, so we got now. you. We got, we got pops over here. Oh, no. You're on, <laughs> on the platform now. Thank y'all for all the birthday wishes, man. Stop Thank y'all for the birthday wishes. They said you sound bad. They said you sound bad, Key, so you got uh, something some going on with your mom. Oh, that must be Yo, so bad. Yo thank y'all for the solar returns, for the for the, for the the born day wishes and things of that nature. I see y'all. You understand what I'm saying? Look, I just dropped on onmytu.org. You understand me? The one of the greatest drops that you can ever drop. So y'all go check that out. Born day drop. You understand what you're doing? What, what is that? You seeing this? Oh, that's your sound, darling. Not, not mine. Hold on. It's too loud in here. Somebody say turn. Bro. There we go. Hold on. What about now? All right, there we go. Oh, there yeah, go. it's there better. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Um, we just dropped the Owen Mind to You merch. You understand what I'm saying? So y'all want to put that birth, you, that, that Earth Day, that birthday love into the, into the merch. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, appreciate y'all. Y'all make sure y'all go tap in with the God, man. We, we, we all here doing exactly what we're supposed to do. Living on exactly how we're supposed to live. And we, and we seeing, uh, the results, everything that we out here, uh, putting out here forth into the universe. So, you know, I, I want to thank y'all. I can't see the comments no more, so it is what it is. But I just want to thank everybody for the uh, for the birthday wishes, born day wishes. Make sure that you go love on a black woman today. Um, that you go look out for a black woman today. Every day of your life, a whole none. And that's just all I got to say. But uh, appreciate you though, Keith. Man, I appreciate Always, you, God, buddy. Man. More episodes dropping. If y'all ain't seen the uh, the last episode of Man to Man, go tap in and learn how to some more about being a man and things of that nature. I love y'all. Oh, uh, you was at work or something like that. Yeah, what you? Uh, somebody you at work? Jack Heller? How you talking to Jack Heller? <laughs> <laughs> he right there. Oh, in the, he right there in the comments. Oh, okay, he might be sure, at work, sure. but he on his phone. Saying, I couldn't see it. You understand what I'm saying? Black, black people, you know, we don't ever be really working. We just <laughs> we we'll play some take it over. I mean, we work it, but we ain't working. What's going on? Huh? Oh, there we go. Okay, we back. Nah, but I ain't got much. Oh, we back. We back. Oh yeah, no, I'm dropping that music. You understand me? Y'all go on my page. I make sure y'all show love and things of that nature. We dropping that music. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, man, I just got tired all of a sudden, and I wanted to say some shit. You understand me? Like, I just, oh, like, listen, man, 
what I do next, like, you know, y'all know me, man. My platform always been about being unapologetically godly. You understand me? Any and everywhere I go. And I had that interview yesterday, or the day before yesterday, rather. Um, you know, and I and, and I try to put together godliness on display any and everywhere I go. You understand? We had a lot of questions, international questions, financial questions. You understand me? You know, and I had to intersect with some of that godliness at the same time. And it's just that time, man. It's time for the gods to rise. Like I'm putting together a book, and you know, this this book I put together, man, is going to be real comprehensive for people to be able to tap in. You know, on the level where I feel like I can give ideas to the culture and we can have global takeovers. Like, I'd be willing to put myself on the line and then let everybody else execute. You understand me? Like, when we talk about spooks and messiahs, the spooks got to be the ones who go get the resources, the intelligence, and then bring it back to the people. Everybody, like, Nas told me, man, Nas say, listen, we all got different roles to play. But at the end of the day, if we all play it for our people, then it's good to go. You feel me? And so for me, it's about, you know, some of us got to be spooked. Some of us got to be in front where the Messiah got to speak, though. The Messiah got to give it to the people. And unfortunately, the Messiah be the one that got to make the most sacrifice. But we got to change the game where the people is behind the Messiahs as much as possible. You understand me? Like, uh, I was talking to Rashad earlier. It's like, yeah, the people got to protect us at all costs because think about what happens if you lose us. You understand me? It just don't exist. It's not there no more. So what I, I'm y'all responsibility. As much as y'all my responsibility. You understand me? If we let the devil get the best of us at the end of the day, that's reflected on y'all. You understand me? That's reflected on the people that know that this is valuable knowledge and information and energy that needs to be out there in the world and duplicated and taken to as far as stretch. So we got to stop giving the devil so much power that we say that he can even touch the untouchables. You understand me? That's what it means to be like made men in society that these are the men that we know. Like, let me bring in somebody like this, brother. Uh, let me see, man. It's always a little soy boy trying to say something. But I'm going to go ahead and let you rock. You understand me? At the end of the day, it's... Because it's, it's, I'm sitting in the back, Put your face on there. Oh, yeah, you a little kid. You know Stupid kids. Um. So at the end of the day, listen, man, I'm choosing violence. I don't care who you are at the end of the day. You get respect by giving respect, and you don't deserve it if you don't give it. That's it. You understand me? And I don't care what kind of energy you come from, because nowadays, niggas want to be bitches, and bitches want to be niggas instead of men and women, right? So I treat you as you come, and if you come the right way, you get treated the right way. But if you come with disrespect, then you get disrespected at the end of the day. That's just life. You understand me? So I'm, I am who I am. I'm not, I never claim to be some perfect person in front of y'all. You understand me? I am from where I'm from. I battle with striving to be a better person on a consistent and daily basis. So if my hand itches and I smack somebody in the face, then that you got to take it as damn, that brother is still growing. <laughs> That's growing pains. <laughs> That's all that is. You feel me? But Watch what happens over this next 365, man. It's about ownership and control, and that's it. Create real projects that we can create jobs, create businesses. You understand me? And at the end of the day, I realize, like, <clears throat> if I can't change the whole world, I'm going to change a part of the world. You understand me? And that part of the world is going to last for a long time. You feel me? And if I look at the leaders before me that I respect, they changed enough of the world to where I can do of my job to change the rest that they didn't reach. There's an analogy by the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan that I love more than any, where he say, listen, you got the sun, then you got the stars. You know, the stars justified the existence, or the sun justified the existence of the stars because we wouldn't understand what the stars was without understanding what the sun is. That's why the sun represents justice, or freedom rather, because the sun shines freely upon all. You understand me? And the stars represent justice because they justify the existence of the sun by having that um, understanding. And so at the end of the day, wherever the sun doesn't reach, the stars reach the rest of the universe because the sun can only reach so far. Its light only has a certain capacity. So I'm a sun, but y'all stars as well. 
And so wherever I don't reach, you got to reach. I can't reach your, your cousin. I can't reach your partner down the street. Each one teach one because when we all get the keys, we can unlock something and unlock each other. And there's 19 million rusty locked minds out there that needs to be opened up. You feel me? Like, we we all really got a job to do. We be playing with the game, and that's why we be losing so consistently, man. Like, this shit in my heart right now is going to continue to be. So what I want to do next is make sure that I get the platforms to put this message out there before I'm gone. You understand me? And I plan on living long, but I'm going to make sure that it, get, it happened with a sense of urgency. You feel me? Because we got to stop playing this game just for a little bit of capital. And at the end of the day, we don't change nothing for the next generation. You understand me? Like, we got to build something real, something sustainable. I was on the phone with Shaka Bars, and he was telling me how he in India with Sai Guru, and he had 5,000 volunteers, and they created a cashless society where they don't even pay each other money. We just, look, we take care of your food, clothing, and shelter. You volunteer to help build this event, and they just working on righteous energy. To be able to have something like that where it's just like a – universal, sustainable economy and everybody working together. We so far away from that. We so far away from having like the universal consciousness and everybody's in harmony with each other and on this powerful vibration. Like we still look at each other as possible enemies, possible competition. You know that is one of the lowest snake natures you can possibly have to look at your brother and not want for him what you want for yourself. It's the golden rule. Anything beyond that is where we savages, but we savages dressed up in modern technology and modern clothes, right? And savages that, you know, not to eat with forks and spoons. So you think you advance when the most advanced eating is eating with your hands. You understand me? Because when you eat with your hands, you have senses in your fingers which starts to prepare your stomach and let you know it's time for you to eat, that our bodies have a, a, a connection. So we lose the connection with our nature, and then we start creating tools and instruments outside our body to try to stimulate the things that we can naturally do. Like, you have to think about that. We have to store things on our phone because our memories don't work as well. That if we can't take the picture, get the content, then we won't even remember it because we don't have the ability to travel back into our minds anymore. They so depleted with drugs and food, right, and distraction and bullshit that they don't even work at their highest capacity the way they used to. They don't even work at the highest capacity anymore. So, like, we got to stop believing that we in advanced people when we ain't advancing. If you take the average person that's in modern day today and you drop them off uh, 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 500 years ago, what can they do? What science do you know? What mathematics do you know? What engineering do you know? What agricultural science do you know to be able to, 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 to grow and develop food? What, what, what architecture can you do? What design skill sets do you have that could be valuable? So as human beings... We lose an incredible amount of value because of modern technology eases the way for human beings destroying us of actually developing ourselves. That's cool to learn some marketing and some branding, but like, you know, I can't wait to get to the point where I'm, I'm like on the land and I'm just building. You understand me? Like learning the knowledges and the sciences and the mathematics. Y'all think I like the, the blockchain because of technology and NFTs. That's mathematics. I understand the mathematical aspect and component of it, and I understand, like, that shit is powerful. Y'all thinking about pictures and some shit that the government said about ID2020 and, like, some cashless society. I'm thinking about, I'm a god, and if you give me a tool, I'm going to use it in the capacity to free myself. But you don't even think you dangerous enough, so the man don't mind. You give a nigga who a slave a gun, and he's only going to shoot other slaves. When you train him enough, he not going to take that and shoot the master one day out the week. The master will give a nigga who's been broken in and trained, give him all the guns in the world, and he only uses that to keep other niggas in check. Think about that for a second. That's how we are. Anytime we get something, we just want to use it against each other.
never against the master. Because we happy with positions of liberty on the plantation. Like that shit is real, man. I don't think y'all understand how sad it is to walk outside and not own the block. But we built the block. You understand me how sad it is that in another two to three years, we have to go vote for another white man to try to help us out. Because some white man wrote down on a piece of paper, this is how things are supposed to work. Who the fuck was them to have the audacity to write that shit down and then we following that shit? Like, I don't know how deep this paperwork shit goes that they control the world because they wrote shit down on paper and we follow that like it fucking matters. Like, wow, they got that kind of deep power over us? Niggas kill each other for shit that don't matter. You ask them, how did this beef start? Over nothing. That means you taking life over nothing? You killing over nothing? You going to jail over nothing? Your baby don't have a father or a mother over nothing? You ain't got a real reason? It ain't no good reasons in the hood. They kill each other. And we try to justify that, but we can't. And unfortunately, some of the top soldiers that are the killer shit, they only use their energy against each other. Nah, but, you know, uh, inshallah, man, I was in contact with Charlemagne, the guy, and, uh, you know, I need to go and do my own thing by myself, to be honest. I need to give them this energy. It's gonna be powerful tomorrow. But you gotta understand, man. I'm 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 moving. I'm on light years ahead. I'm thinking about bigger and bigger and bigger. Like we gotta keep running. Uh, don't talk to me about no Ty Lopez. Don't talk to me about Grant Cardone. Don't talk to me about no Gary V. Don't talk to me about no Mike Rubin. I don't give a damn about them white boys. They family generations is set. I don't give a damn about their NFT projects. And that don't mean I won't take some money and flip it, but I'm definitely not about to go in and start marketing it and pushing that shit. I'm not, they would never use, they, they would never ever use their platform to promote something 19 Keys got. So I'm not using my platform to promote shit they got. That's what that's about. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Just want y'all to understand that. Like, it's different when you go through training. I didn't. I didn't even get to talk about myself on a Breakfast Club interview. They just start asking questions. You understand me? I didn't even get to tell where where I was from. Like they, they we start lighting it up. You understand me? What about Russia? What about Ukraine? What about Bitcoin? What about Ukraine? What about this and that? You understand me? At the end of the day, they already knew who I was. So, but you know, I got to make sure that the guys get properly introduced to the world next time. And you know, I ain't got no media training. So I get up there. I just, you know, I'm going to just do what I do. But now it's time. Like, I understand the game a little different now. Once you let me see a little bit of the light, man, I understand the full picture. I got the full spectrum now. Mm hmm. It's over with now, man. Yeah, I know what's going on now. Uh-huh. And you ain't going to find a more powerful mind than mine because I'll put that on anything because I'm going to make sure it is. What I'm about to do over this, this next 6 to 12 months, man, it's going to be astonishing. We're putting together real things. We're putting together real things. You understand me? But, you know, shout out to uh, EYL. Shout out to Angela Lee, uh, Charlemagne the God. Um, um, uh, DJ Envy, you understand me for even having that platform because even before me, they brought in all the ministers, 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 Farrakhan ministers, and you know, they really make a way for that type of platform. So it's like, at the end of the day, I, 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 I always, even when I talk about black media, 
I'll be giving them a pass because at the end of the day, you can't. Number one, I'm like, my mom said, don't criticize black. We ain't even got enough to criticize each other. Like, we don't even have enough to criticize each other. Like, when we only got one platform, two, three, that ain't enough. We got to wait till we got thousands, hundreds. Like, the white folks, they got so many. If one fall, they still got a billion other ones to go to. Yeah, this therapy is just different. So it's like, nah, I try not to criticize black for that reason. You can always be critical, right? And we attack principles, not people, right? It's different. So I think, I, I, you know, I think the brothers over there got some, some genuineness in their heart. And at the end of the day, we all play our part. And if we do it the right way, spooks and messiahs, that's all I got to say. Spooks and messiahs. But listen, what y'all need to do, though, because we're going to have a high-level conversation tomorrow. But what y'all really want to do is make sure that when we we will be doing high-level conversations on the 19th on the EYL network as well, because that partnership I did with them, bosses come together, do some boss things. You understand me? It's going to be powerful. 